controls them. Chaos will follow. Ignorant threat. You used to be And here we are. All right. Uh, this is once again the junior varsity team. I will be. There'll be a small gap in my commentating, depending on how long this takes, because can't be here forever. But uh, in the meantime, let's take a look at this comp. Okay. So, getting a general idea of the friendly comp, we have Kaisa, Ash, Zinjao, Akali, and Darius. Now that is very, very 
AD heavy. Um, in fact, I think so. I'm gonna advise them on this. Hey, uh, JV, JV. Uh, either the Kaisa or the Ash build AP because other than that, your entire composition's attack damage. So you guys coordinate that. Kaisa's best built AP though, like put Nasher's tooth on her. Oh wait, you're on the. Oh, you're on the left. You're on the right side. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. In that case, um, build armor against them. Build lots of armor. Yeah, because they're very AD heavy. Looking at our comp instead, Aatrox. We know our top laner is an absolutely goaded with the sauce. Aatrox. Um, there's not going to be any problems there. Um, Mordekaiser. Now, I haven't seen much Mordekaiser gameplay um, from JV at all. Uh, last time I saw anyone play Mordekaiser, it was Ethan. And the thing about Ethan playing Mordekaiser is that the enemy team does not have a good time. So, um, we are going to see how this new play goes. Uh, they're fighting these guys for the second time. Um, and first time was quite rough, um, just getting all of that together and sorted, but we will see how the Coyotes fare today. Um, for any of you coming from like a previous Rocket League stream or something who uh, wishes for, where, oh, is wondering where all the goofy commentary is, um, I know how to play League of Legends, therefore I uh, give a bit more nuanced commentary on this. Um, although, um, in the event that anyone ever would like more goofy, or would like more insight for either game, because I know what I'm doing in Rocket League. It's just funny. Um, happy to oblige. <laughs> Other than that, um, for the remainder of the stream delay, looking at our comp, we've got AD, 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 and then two AP champs. So this shouldn't be too difficult. Um, main thing I'm worried about is um, that Yasuo into that Akali. That can be a rough composition if Akali lands her E. Um, Yasuo won't have much of a chance to run away after a failed trade, so they have to keep that in mind. Now, Zaya into an Ash wins hard, actually. So as long as um, Zaya can try to... As long as they can snowball that early lead, because the enemy doesn't actually have a support, so snowballing that early lead is going to be very, very important towards um, trying to get... Trying to get Campo's attack damage carry, um, which I believe would be... Let's see, who's our ADC again? Uh, I think it's Chase. Yeah, here we are, lol JV. Um... Yeah, yeah, that would be. Um, so we're going to see how uh, things go there. Now, 30 seconds until the clock uh, ticks down, and we are ready to actually hop into the match. So uh, we'll see how all this goes. Now, give me a second while I switch the stream over to automatic. The moment that the match, that we're able to hop into the match, we should be able to see. But um, if not, I'll be checking up on the stream, and when I catch up, then I'll fix it. Um... Okay. Okay. Looks like we're having the same issue as last time, but that is in fact okay. Uh, because I can fix this and give us a lovely, lovely live feed of the game. 
uh, right now. Let's take a look here. Live game. Alrighty, uh, and then just switching over. Here we are. So let us watch here. Um, looking at the head-to-head -head briefly, um, we have decent win chance on um, JV. We will see how that ends up going. Um, trying to see if I can actually... Nope, that's shouldn't be it. Uh, you don't. Let us see here. Update. Wonderful. Live game. Hey, uh, Ethan. Where's the live game? Let's see. I'm trying to um, get a live game going here. No, because it had the bug again. So how do I get onto the live game again? I don't know. I've never used you that easy. Let's see. Um. I know I watched one last time. You know what? Let's get a little clipsy dipsy of how I did it. This is some behind the scenes. All right, well, resource here. Just um, the score is at point, so I'm just gonna rejoin it, and we are going to live game feature. Ah, it's op.gg, right? What a silly little guy I am. Here we are. Wonderful. And now, we get right into the game. Here we are. All right, uh, we start about four minutes in. Looks as if they are three kills up on the Coyotes. Quite unfortunate. Some decently good trades here. Um, Wondering what's going on here, uh, bot lane, but whatever, as it looks like potentially our bot lane could be getting a kill, but unfortunately the autos just don't seem to be going through, um, and they get a double in the bot lane. Scooting back on top for a second, um, 
Oh dear, I should probably get out of there. But moving on top for a second, we actually get, uh, unfortunately, another death from the Aatrox. Um, mid, it would look like Akali is about a level up, although, um, oh, he is quite far behind. It is soon to be a two-level gap. Um, it is unknown at this time if they can recover from it. But that dash in, I do not think the Q dash there was quite what Yasuo was going for. But, um, whatever. And going back in, the Akali can, unfortunately, get that kill. Here is Chase 1v1ing the Jin Zhao, and that is yet another kill for the Nightmares. Uh, looking right now, oh yeah, that's rough. Five minutes in, we have a 4k, uh, gold diff for now. Um... We get a wrong runes call in all chat. Um, from this end over here, things do not seem to be going as well as they could be. Um, looking like Jin Zhao is about to take the dragon, but Slobbish is possibly about to make something happen here, although does miss the Akali with the Q. Uh, abs another Q missed and burns a Ignite on her. Uh, she gets that level up, and it would look as if Charlie is able to get a shutdown on the Xin Zhao. Uh, that 450 gold is able to knock us right up into only being about still 4k away, but it is rough. And unfortunately, Yasuo was ignited, but he seems to want to go back in and miss that Q entirely, um, which is quite unfortunate. Taking a look at the itemization here, I do not know why some of these fights are going down. Um, especially looking at Yasuo and Akali. Akali with the four stack Dark Seal, and Yasuo only has um, a few uh, daggers, Doran's Blade, Cloak of Agility. Um, none of which are quite conducive to 1v1 trade matchups. Um, moving back down to mid. Seems that um, some control wards are being placed by the enemy team. Oh, but something's being made happen by uh, our good man Aatrox up top. Um, seems to be trying to make something happen against the Darius, but unfortunately, he quite misjudged that matchup. Going to break that down a little bit more. Um, Aatrox up here. Only one item, Vampiric Scepter, versus the Darius. Rocking Longsword. And fully constructed plated steel caps, which is not a good look for the Coyotes. Getting the root on them is Danny, our wonderful support. Uh, Zaya is probably going to be looking to back here sometime soon, trying to get some more items. Uh, in the meantime, another fight against Jin Zhao could be brewing, but they're able to try and make it pass. Blowing a control ward just to make that happen. Oh, but there could be a fight in the top river brewing. We will see how this goes down. Let's actually cut back to that uh, for just a moment. Looking as Jin Zhao comes down to try to finish the fight, Yasuo has not yet joined it, and unfortunately, um, the burst on Akali is a little bit too strong, although the passive does start proccing. We will see if he hits the W. He does not push the W key, and that is unfortunately the death of him. Um, W would have been all it really took there. We are going to switch this here camera back to directed mode and let the game decide where the action is, and that action is top lane where it looks like the Darius has already blasted a ghost. Um, Aatrox, unfortunately, did lose his flash in the process, um, and we are going to quickly give ourselves some objective timers. It looks like Dragon is going to be up at about two minutes. Um, securing Dragon is going to be absolutely huge for um, the Coyotes. Especially with this 7k gold diff 
uh, that we are looking at right now. And unfortunately, that looks like it might be about to grow higher, but Zaya just narrowly is able to get out of the way. Um, Darius trying to dive into our Aatrox, and unfortunately for us, that does succeed, but it was a 1v1 as we are able to get the kill back. And unfortunately, it looks like once again, Aatrox, not Aatrox, um, our jungler Charlie has no idea that his W uh, functions. We will see how with with Mordekaiser um, his mana bar is replaced with a shield that stacks over time. By pressing W you can convert that shield into health. Um, but he's losing these fights because instead of pressing W he's just letting that shield build up until he dies and there's nowhere it can really go. Um... Let's see, looking at... Oh, yeah, and should not be going for that at all, especially with the mana. Oh, dear, I do not know really what he was thinking there. Um, but Akali is able to narrowly make it out from those nasty, nasty Turi shots. Something might be happening down bot here. Uh, the, the level diff isn't too bad, especially with, like, the two ADCs down there. I um, Interesting footwork from... Uh, Zaya there. It would, it would appear as if Charlie is about to go in. Now, uh, Charlie should probably be mindful of the level gap, but little did Akali know that there were two of them, and with the Mordekaiser ult, we might be able to see them lock up the kill on Akali. Could he do it? No, he cannot. And it was probably that ult, unfortunately, that cost them the kill. Um... Real unfortunate. And another control ward with gold to the enemy team. We are looking at a 9k gold diff right now. Uh, one objective on either side, though. Um, I'm going to be honest with you folks. This one does not seem too winnable. Jin Zhao um, just absolutely eating. Eating Devon. And for whatever reason, Aatrox goes back in to fight that. Let's see if he tries to proc the lifesteal again. But unfortunately, Darius had his queue up and is able to get the second one off. First turret of the game, and unfortunately, as the statistic goes, 70% of first turret games within League of Legends, especially competitive, um, do tend to go to the person who took the first turret. Now, what Zaya should be doing in this scenario is kiting away, but unfortunately, um, neither Zaya nor the support actually make that happen, leading to a potential double kill bot lane, but Dandy's able to narrowly make it out of there. Um, here, we once again see Charlie trying to go in for something. Um, meanwhile, bot lane, we have... Um, Danny and Chase should be returning to lane around now. That is another turret down for the Coyotes, quite unfortunate. Uh, seems as if their Jin Zhao is going to be trying to go for Dragon, but unfortunately did not seem to account for the fact that the entirety of the Coyotes are down here. Uh, Danny, unfortunately not committing on running away or staying in, leads to a sad, sad death. Um, we are going to see how Charlie is able to fare against the Jin Zhao. If he presses W, he could succeed, but unfortunately the W key once again eludes our Junior Varsity jungler. Please give me a second. Ethan? Tell him to press the W key, Charlie. W. You. But no, when you press your W, it gives you a massive shield, too. If you press it twice, it heals you for a little bit of that shield, but it gives you a massive shield if you press it once. The shield is equivalent to how much of your white bar you have stacked up. 
Okay, it looks like he was not actually aware of his W ability, so hopefully this will assist in future fights. Something going down up top between Darius and Aatrox. Um, ghosting, trying to get that um, nice t under tower play. Um, oh, is he going to greed for it? Nope, but he is going to get the kill, but unfortunately that is in exchange for a triple by the Nightmares. Um... Uh, soon to turn into a quadra. That is rough, as we are currently staring at a 13.6k gold diff. With objective bounties up for the Coyotes, I do not, quite frankly, see how this one can be turned around, unfortunately. Looks like uh, we have the Hex Gates have opened. We are going to be getting a little bit more action from them. They allow a lot more rotation around the map um, for either team. Um, so walking into the jungle um, with no vision, not the best move from Devon. Um, Akali has killed several in the exact same way, so that trap is not something that the Coyotes should be falling for again. And speaking of traps, uh, once again, walking forward, no vision, and unfortunately, that leads to the potential death of Danny, but no Danny survives, and in actuality, it would look as if there's going to be a double kill ball lane, but moving up to top, it unfortunately looks as though Charlie is going to feel the pain tonight, as he just did. Good job to Danny for that incredible play. Oh, and pushed up way too far in front of Tower while Akali is missing. That is a major no-no. Looks as if um, they did not even see the Akali coming. And that leads to a nasty second Rift Herald that is spawned um, up top lane. Um, top inner turret destroyed and it would seem as if the coyotes are about to lose their inhibitor turret as well um flashing into the fray would be charlie but unfortunately it looks like he is just going to be another statistic on the map um as a result of that poorly thought out hex flash and it would seem as if chase is going to meet the exact same fate which is exactly what did not happen. Chase is able to successfully get away, and no one's taking out that Rift Herald. Um, taking a look at that, the Herald might even be able to get a top inhibitor or um, a one of the two Nexus turrets. Um, it looks like, from what I can see on the minimap, Campo has managed to vanquish um, the Rift Herald. But for how long is that going to stave off the Nightmare's Assault? Especially with Baron Nasher two minutes and 30 away. This is going to be a rough game. Once again, Hex jumping into the fray while there are two enemies out there and no vision leads to another death for the Coyotes. We are now only at a 18, 17k gold lead, which not not horrible, but... Still quite, well, not as bad as previously, I'll tell you that much. Um, but unfortunately, um, quite a bit worse than I would have liked. Now, seems like a Akali and much of their team is coming down. The stun's procking up, and the turret gone, and pretty much the entirety of our team, mid to bot, all gone. And that would be a surrender from the Coyotes. That's the first game locked up. I'll convene with them while we prepare for the second game.
selected one and I win. Never broken. Campo Verde. Um, we are seeing Jinjiao, definitely a good one, um, versus a Skarner. Next, we've got Wukong. Um, interesting, interesting ban indeed. Nidalee. All right, we're starting to pick up some more traction here. Okay, Lee Sin, interestingly enough. Kane. Now, Kane is a very, very, very good pick for Charlie. So, hopefully, things are going to clear up a little bit more. Now. Okay. Oh, that's a Pike. Alright, now, Pike is going to be a very, very rough matchup. It's going to be onto the bot support. Ooh, Pike and Caitlyn. Now, Caitlyn's very, very high attack range is going to be quite difficult for the Coyotes to deal with this game. Um, but I am still hopeful that we can try to win this in Champ Select. Aurelian Soul. Now, I think this is getting picked for, um, for Heaven. But in the event... Oh, nope, we have a switch to Nami. All right, now Nami is very much so Danny's main, um, making a lot happen with hard CCs, knock up on the Q, um, incredible healing on the W. We've got Aatrox with Tate. This game is shaping to be a clash of giants. If only we can hope that the Coyotes pick up on um, their vision and warding mistakes of the last game, then we will hopefully be able to see what is happening and be able to make something happen. Okay, um... And we're reconnected, that's good. Ivern, interesting ban. I don't think anyone on our team plays Ivern. Getting rid of Shaco, another interesting one, seeing as how we haven't seen them pull out a Shaco yet. Um, we will just have to see how all of that goes. Just letting you know there's people cheering you on in the chat. We'll see if they in fact deliver. Now the Mundo ban is very good. Mundo can be a very stat checky champion, so if he is able to snowball early in the game, um, hit the higher stats 
um, higher attack damage, higher armor pen, all of that, unfortunately can just snowball despite his relatively tame abilities. Um, his casts are not that bad. All of these potential picks from the enemy jungler would all hurt my heart deeply, but it would appear as if uh, the Diana is what they settle on. Uh, the Pantheon! Is Pantheon... Could this be jungle? We'll see. Um... Typically, Pantheon is a mid laner, so um, that would be an interesting pick. Now, Tristana, Tristana on um, Tristana is most likely going to be our attack damage carry um, Chase. Now, I am not entirely familiar with Chase's Tristana. We'll see how that goes. We do, though. Um, We do have Devin's A Soul though. So we are going to see how that goes. Jace. Okay, the Jace must be the top lane then. Um, Jace is a very interesting champion with his ability to switch between forms. He may be the only stance character that exists within um, League of Legends. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how all of this um, winds up turning out. Um, for now... We will just have to see how the Coyotes are able to fare in about three minutes here. In the meantime, um, for anyone just joining us or new to League of Legends, I do in fact read the chat, so if you have any questions about how the game works or who the heck is winning, um, I am happy to answer those for you between answering problems for my Algebra 2 homework. So, um, to try and take a look at, let, let, let's do a bit of scouting, shall we? Um, this would be varsity, so I do not think I can actually scout, um, much of the enemy team for now at the very least um so instead let's take a look at um uh, let's take a look at that aurelian soul um gameplay now on aurelian soul We do not see a lot of gameplay, but a 25% win rate out of eight games. That is going to be a incredibly, incredibly rough, um, incredibly rough matchup there. All right. Um, why did Yasuo go first strike? Um, I do not know. I believe that um, it was said in all chat toward the end of the last game that um, runes were mismatched. Um, so I believe that was a mistake in setting um, Yasuo's runes. Lethal tempo would, in fact, be way better. You want to get that attack speed on Yasuo, always. Um, that crit and stuff uh, depends on how you're building him. But I'm not entirely confident in the Aurelian Soul on, um, on Chase. We'll see. Um... Uh, for now, let's also take a look at the Tristana. Um, let's take a look at the Tristana here. Because I have not, in fact, seen his Tristana at all. Okay, win rate. We're seeing a lot better with Tristana. Um, plays more Zaya, but I'm thinking 
that as long as um, Devin's careful about it, he can make something happen here. Uh, meanwhile, I already know um, Tate on the Aatrox, Danny on the Nami, um, and I think bot lane's definitely going to be the win condition here, especially with Danny on Nami. Um, and things are going to be much better gank-wise because we have that Charlie um, rocking his main cane. All right, and here we are off into the second game. really don't know what the issue here is with League Client, so uh, I'm just going to immediately hop on over live game. And we are going to spectate. Boom. Run anyway. And now we are able to get into the next match. We should be like a minute or two late, but that's okay. Nope. We are right at the start. Uh, and it would appear that Campo is starting blue side this game. Hopefully their micro and macro blue side is going to be a little bit tighter. Looks like a full team push up top lane. This is something I have never actually seen before. There could be some kind of invade or a just massive dunk on to Aatrox incoming. Um, thankfully, Tate is able to see them, but doesn't actually walk backwards, giving them the first blood of the game. I am unaware of what I just watched. That was something. All right, um, but thankfully the rest of the team is left safe down bot lane. Um, currently just chilling in Redbrush. Um, hopefully trying to make something happen eventually. Uh, it looks like Tate is going to once again um, try to walk up there. Hopefully not another death. Um, Oh, but we do have Aurelian Soul here, uh, some sort of a small fight, and thankfully Tate is able to get away. So far, um, about a 6.6k gold diff, not bad. Um, just gotta keep things standard. Um, looking at Chase right now on the A Soul. Um, things are going pretty good, good trades all in all. Very, very good trades, all in all. Um, feeling much more confident about this now that I'm seeing it. Uh, Taking a look at bot lane, um, the Tristana pick was a good one. Those are some nasty last hits we're seeing, and um, Kane seems to be killing right now. But unfortunately, he was seen. There must have been a ward there, as we can see down there. But that flash is going to be in vain. Pike hooks him over the wall, and that is another kill. Now, um, Tate might be wanting to get out of here, uh, especially considering no items level down and the entire minion wave, but unfortunately the thought does not cross his mind, and we have a third kill for the Nightmares. Oh, and that is a very bad trade, but I do not think it will result in a death for um, anyone on our team. 
it looks as though that flash ignite flash combo is going to be the death of Danny. A little bit of overextension there. Um, not much that can be done aside from just positioning and all of that. Um, unfortunately, positioning does not seem to be on the mind of um, our very own Tristana. Until it is, as we see some excellent kiting around the minion waves, but unfortunately, Pike has a dash. Briefly taking a look at items, um, seems as though once again items are not being checked before going into fights. Um, looking at that crit cloak, huge compared to those long swords. Um, what are we looking at in terms of runes <laughs> this game? Okay, everything looks pretty solid there. I do not know how you build New Aurelian Soul, but... Should be relatively fine. Um, oh boy, a gank up top must be imminent. And unfortunately, um, Tate does eat that Q from the Jace. Oh, and it would look as though he just walks straight into um, that queue, unfortunately. But it is a neutral trade as he gets him down to half. Could something be happening here? Unfortunately not, as he walks yet, right in yet again, and Kane leisurely strolls past. Um, meanwhile, Tate is just trying to hold on to his life here, um, but unfortunately for him, it would seem that they quite want to take it, but he's able to still make it back somehow. Um, this is definitely going to be a two-for-one unless it's just a one-for-one. One. But due to the shutdown, the gold value is actually significantly higher for the Coyotes, um, bringing the gold diff up to only 3k, which not um, have definitely seen worse. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Taking a brief look up top, it looks like they were close to getting the Caitlyn, but no cigar. Am I allowed to say that, actually? Uh, they were close, but no... Uh, I'll come up with a different metaphor. And unfortunately, um, it would appear as if Danny wanted that kill a little bit too badly and gave his life for it. Uh, no vision in the bushes, once again. Um, just looking at this gameplay here. Um, Tate is eating these shots. Does not die, though. Oh, and we've got the entire enemy team collapsing on poor, poor Charlie. Better vision, better communication um, probably could have been the difference maker there. In fact, the main mistakes I'm seeing here are um, mistakes of information going in when um, it wouldn't be the most advantageous to, um, going in without items, going in without levels, going in without gold. Um, meanwhile, um, awareness of enemy objectives, awareness of enemy health, awareness of enemy positions, but that kill right there onto the kill is exactly what we need. A game's never not, a game's always winnable until the last second. And proving that today are the Coyotes. But it would look as though Tate is about to make something happen, potentially. But unfortunately, it would seem as though Jace was able to make his way to the Scryer's Bloom. And Tate better not greed for that. Or else, unfortunately, this is most likely going to be the end for him. But misjudging the situation and, and once again not paying attention to levels, he goes once more into the fight. All right.
Alright, so, unfortunately, I know I'm here playing League of Legends on a Valentine's Day, but I do, in fact, also have a life to get up to, so while I will leave the stream on running automatically, there will be no more witty commentary until I get home, um, in which case, which will be soon, and hopefully, if the match is still going till that point, um, things will be groovy, but until then, see y'alls.
Thank you. 